What's up everybody? Welcome back to another exhilarating episode. Today, we're doing another haul. This is a Goodwill haul. It's gaming on the cheap. Let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about are two Xbox original controllers that are in super great condition. $2.99 a piece? How can you go wrong? If you can ever find some of these original controllers in great condition, you might as well pick them up as long as you can find them cheap because you never know when your controller may go bad. The first game up is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Now this is a PS2 game. That being said, the disc is actually not in here, but I did end up buying the case with the manual for down the road, just in case I find the loose disc. I figured, what the heck, pick it up for possible trading purposes, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Next up, we've got Gran Turismo 3 for the PS2. This is another empty case, but it does have the manual inside. It's always good to have these as backups and or for trading purposes. Next game is the PS3 game, it's Starhawk. Got this one for $3.99. Definitely looks like a fun game. It's actually something that I've never heard of before, but it does look pretty darn neat. It's Starhawk. Going back to the PS2, we've got Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. I already own this game, I've streamed it before, or played the game before I should say, and made some videos about it. Uh, this particular copy is going to be going to my good buddy, and YouTube son, Brian Trusty, King Kong. Continuing with the PS2, we've got Medal of Honor Frontline. Looks like a really fun game. These war games normally aren't my flavor, my style, but seems like a really fun game, worth giving a shot, and you can always give it away or trade it down the road. Now this next game is multiple games. It's for the original Xbox. It's Exhibition 7. Game demos inside. I'm going to tell you a little story about this because I checked inside. $1.99. Let's take a look. What's really cool is that this one is exhibition number two, which seems weird, but they also had number five in here. I'm not really sure what the deal is. There's a whole list of games. I'll include that list at the end of the video. Now, I didn't have a specific case, so I put everything in here in this general case. Here are some of the other discs that I had inside. You've got Dead or Alive Ultimate. Not exactly sure, but when I read the around the, the perimeter of the disc, it has a bunch of different game titles, so it seems like a little demo disc. Never seen something like this. The case also included ESPN Football. Not something I care about, but it was in there. Last but not least, it had some uh, Magic the Gathering game. This one's called Battlegrounds. Again, another title that I don't really care about, but they were all stuffed into this case. Seems kind of neat. Moving along to the Xbox 360, this is Need for Speed The Run. $3.99, factory sealed, brand new game. Seems pretty fun. Never played it, definitely want to get into it. Need for Speed, The Run. Going back to the original Xbox, we've got Midway Arcade Treasures, multiple games on here. I think it's 20 plus games on one disc for the original Xbox. Seems super awesome. A bunch of classic games. I'll take a picture of this, insert it later. You can pause it right now. That's up to you. Super fun. Next up is WWF Raw for the original Xbox. Seems like a title my buddy Chaos would love. Super cool. WWF Raw. Another original Xbox games. This is Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. I already have this title, but I have a feeling that I'll be giving this one away. Super neat. Already talked about it in the last haul. When I found it again, I just knew I had to pick it up. Somebody's going to get this sick game. Continuing with the original Xbox, we've got Big Mother Trucker 2. Seems like a super silly game. I've played Big Mother Trucka, but not number two. Definitely worth having some fun with. Big Mother Trucka 2. Moving back to the PS2, we've got MLB Slugfest 2004. 
I'm not typically into sports games, and I definitely don't know a whole lot about baseball, but it seems like a really neat game. So I figured, what the heck, let's get it. MLB Slugfest 2004. Another baseball title for the PS2, we've got High Heat Major League Baseball 2004. Just continuing on with the theme of playing some baseball games, seemed kind of fun, so I picked it up. High Heat Major League Baseball 2004. Switching it up to another team sport, we've got NASCAR Thunder 2003 for the PS2. I've been getting really big into NASCAR uh, titles. I, ex I can't even tell you why. I don't even really like NASCAR, but playing the games seems kind of fun. NASCAR Thunder 2003. Another PlayStation 2 game is Tech 2, The Staff of Dreams. Really hyped about this. Can't wait to get into it. Haven't owned this game before. Haven't even played it. Super stoked. Tech 2, The Staff of Dreams. Now these next two are duplicates, with the exception of one being the greatest hits. We've got Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. I'm going to be giving one of these discs away to my buddy, Brian Trusty. Seems like a really fun game. I've been getting into some Call of Duty. Let's get into it. Following up Call of Duty 2, we've got Call of Duty 3 for the PS2. Another super fun looking game. Call of Duty 3. Switching back to the Xbox 360, we've got Viking. Battle for Asgard, never heard of this title. The graphics look cool. I really like the metallic cover. Seemed like a pretty decent game. I figured, what the fudge, pick it up. Viking, Battle for Asgard on the Xbox 360. Going back to the original Xbox, we've got yet another Greg Hastings game. This is Tournament Paintball Maxed. Haven't picked up the Max, but I've had the other game. Seems like loads of fun. We're gonna get into some paintball. There you go. Greg Hastings, Tournament Paintball Maxed for the OG Xbox. Continuing with the original Xbox, we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three. Seems like a lot of fun. I've been getting some Tom Clancy games lately. Definitely super excited to play this. Rainbow Six Three. Switching it up back to the PlayStation 2. <laughs> We've got a kid's game, The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. This one is Jet Fusion. Seems kind of neat. I've also got a seven-year-old. I figured, you know what, maybe she'll like to play it. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll like to play it. Either way, this is The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Jet Fusion. Continuing with the PS2, another chaos title. We've got WWF Smackdown, Just Bring It, with The Rock, on the cover. WWF Smackdown. Just bring it. Next up, State of Emergency. Never played this game. Definitely seems like loads of fun. Don't know much about it, but I got it for the PS2 and I'm really excited. It's State of Emergency. Jumping back to the original Xbox, we got Legos, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, Super pumped. I love my Lego games. This is Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Continuing on with the Xbox games, we've got Pocket Bike Racer. This is a Burger King game. I do have another Burger King game, but I don't have Pocket Bike Racer. Pretty exciting. I don't have much uh, high hopes for this game, but you never know, we may be surprised. Next up for the PS2 is a WWE title for my boy, Slayer. Smackdown, shut your butt. I'm just kidding, it's shut your mouth, but there you go, Slayer. There's your shout out. PlayStation 2, WWE, Smackdown, shut your mouth. Super pumped. Jumping back to the original Xbox, Monster Garage. I used to watch the show all the time. I visited Jesse James's shop out in California, loved the place, Super fun show back in the day. I don't know how the game's gonna be. It might not be good, but we've got, for the original Xbox, Monster Garage. Continuing with the original Xbox, we've got Dead to Right, a game I've honestly never heard of. 
You might crucify me in the comments, but I've never heard of this. Seems like a fun game, so I picked it up. Original Xbox, dead to right. And the final game, this one is Arctic Thunder for the PS2. It's a snowmobiling game. Seems like loads of fun. Arctic Thunder. All right, so that's it. That's the haul. Massive amount of games. Super stoked. Picked that up in one day. Went to Goodwill. All of these games and the two controllers were both there. I just knew I had to grab them. Thanks for checking this out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any of these titles, feel free to comment down below, letting me know, A, what you think, if you recommend it, and when did you get it? Did you get it when it came out? Did you get it recently? Have you found it in the wild? Tell us all about it. We'd love to hear it. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you next time. Stay awesome.